Don't sell yourself short. Don't entertain his triflingness. Do not fight a girl over this man because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, your problem is not with her, it's with him. Your boyfriend doesn't know who you are. He needs to ask someone because you're popping. You're popping and you should not have to prove anything to this man. Nothing. Nothing, sis. Nothing. He needs to get his life, take a sick leave, sit down, do something in the corner because you are not going to come for me and my shine. You're just not. You're not going to hold me back. You're not going to hold me back today, tomorrow, yesterday. Nothing. Nothing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia and um, by the title you can tell what this video is going to be about today. I know Valentine's Day is tomorrow. It's right around the corner. How cute, how fun. But I am here to pump the tea and if your boyfriend or significant other does any of these things, you need to check them. They need to get their lives or they can go. Okay? Okay, so let's just jump into this video. No long talking. This is what we're going to be doing today, okay? I'm, I'm not with it. This is what we're going to do today. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into this video. Bye! First off, if your man does not compliment you, that is a big issue. I don't mean like compliment you every single second of the day. No, that's not what I mean. I mean like if you put time, if you put effort into your look, you're going out with him and he doesn't say anything to you... I feel like that's so disrespectful. Even if you don't put a lot of um, effort and time and, you know, just on a regular, regular day and he doesn't say anything and he doesn't appreciate the effort you put in to look good, not only for him, because it's not really about him. You want to look good for yourself, right? So if he doesn't compliment you, I feel like that's an issue. I know some guys aren't affectionate like that, but there's there's no excuses. Like, there's no excuse as to why your man should not be complimenting you that's number one that's i think that's i think that's a lot of man's issue is that they don't know how to show affection and i think that's a big problem number two alongside with if your man doesn't compliment you i feel like if he tells you what to wear then that's another issue because i know us girls we have common sense you are not going to go outside with no clothes on like that's just like I know that's not gonna happen so if you're going out and you ask me like oh like how do I look like do I look good like and he's like okay go change then that's that's the issue I would just tell him to get up and leave like you're not gonna tell me what to wear do you buy my clothes do, do you buy my clothes and even if you did if you bought it why are you complaining like I just I never understand stood that like you're your own person. I just don't believe that anyone should dictate what you wear. And especially if you feel good, you feel confident, and your boyfriend just shuts you down like, no, go change that. You can't, I can't be seen with you in that. Now I can't be seen with you because you're rude. Like, no, 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 sis. That's not what we're going to do today, tomorrow, any single day. Your man is not going to tell you what to wear. That's number... No, no, no. Just not going to happen. Number three. If your boyfriend entertains other mans, sorry. If your boyfriend entertains any other girls, and we're in the age of social media, okay? We're in the age of social media, so there's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of, you know what I mean? Like behind closed doors, there's a lot of interaction online. So talking Instagram wise, if say your man posts a fire pic, fire pic, and you just see girls, girls just all down his um, comment section. I think that's number one suspect, but it's not It's not something to be mad at. What you need to be mad at is if he's entertaining it. If he's sending those little kissy kissy emojis back, if he's like sending those like eye emojis back, that's when you need to eye your man because that's, that's not right. I feel like he should only be entertaining you. If he's not, if he's entertaining other people, then... You need to just let him entertain those people and carry on because that's not that's not right. That is not right. And I just see it sometimes. I'm just like, none of my business. I just keep scrolling through because I think that's a waste of time. Like, you're not going to let me look stupid out here while you're entertaining other girls. It's just not going to happen. No, no. And, like, with that, too, when girls see, like, honestly, I can't lie. Like, I've been guilty to that, too, but, like, like, girls will get mad at the other girl that's, like, 
and like that's like trying to trying to entice the guy that she's with i'm just like you shouldn't be mad at her be mad at your man because the girl doesn't owe you anything like it should be it sh it should it sh you should be upset with your man about that like you can't be sending kissy faces back in the day like at the end of the spectrum it's kind of like does it really matter though because it's it's instagram like it's not real life but at the same time like it's so prevalent it's so evident in like our in our daily activity that it might as well be real life because it's like how everyone interacts so it's like don't entertain other girls because I will have your neck. That's what you need to say to him, sis. That's what you need to say. And so number four is if you have to prove your worth. Now, I don't think you need to prove anything to anyone. But I just feel like you shouldn't have to prove yourself. Like, you got into a relationship because you guys were both, like, into each other. And... You, I'm not going to say you already proved to him that you're worth being in a relationship with, but you kind of did. Like, if you, weren't, if you weren't supposed to be in a relationship, you wouldn't be in a relationship. I don't feel like you need to prove to your man that you're worth um, fighting for, you're worth this, you're worth that. Like, if your man's not willing to fight for you, then he needs to go, okay? He needs to find himself because this is not, this is not what we're going to do. Like, if I have to prove to you that you should stay with me, I, first of all, I'm not even going to do that because you can go. You can take a sick leave, you can exit out the door because that's not what we're going to do. I, for one, I'm not going to let you prove to me how much I need to fight for you because I don't feel like you need to do that either. Like, it just, everyone should just know what it is. Everyone, like, does that make sense? Am I making sense out here? I feel like you just should not have to prove to your boyfriend that you're worth fighting for. Like, no, that's a lot of work that I don't need to do. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work that no one should have time for. <sighs> Number five is so controversial. Number five is so controversial. Because to me, I don't believe that the man should have to pay for every single bill, meaning like food-wise. Like if you go out to eat, I don't believe that the your boyfriend should have to be shelling out his hard-earned money any way that he gets it. I don't believe that he should have to pay for every single meal. It's kind of disrespectful to not only him and his wallet, but it's kind of just like... You're really going to let your boyfriend just pay for everything. And I'm sure you work as well. You're, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it should be 50-50. And I don't understand why some girls just let their boyfriend pay for everything. Talking about finesse him, finesse that, finesse. No, no, that's not cute. I don't think it was ever cute. This isn't 1950s. And if it was, like, I still would not. Like, I would not, I would not let my boyfriend pay for my meal every single time. It's kind of like... I, I just feel like it's so disrespectful and you may agree with me you may disagree with me but I just feel like we're in 2018 we're very innovative innovative okay women these days are very innovative we have a lot of power I feel like we've grown so much over the years with our rights so I feel like why should we still have to be sometimes brought down and not be not i don't understand why some girls don't feel like they should have to pay for the meal like but yet we want to be so innovative we want to do this we want to do that but you're still gonna let your man pay for every single meal like come on now come on and on the guy side too it's kind of like i feel like yeah that may be nice that you pay for your girl's meal every single time but it's just like like, how do you really feel? Like, some guys really generally want to pay for every single meal and won't let the girl do that. But if it's kind of like, I just feel like it should be 50-50. I don't feel like the man should have to pay for everything. And if he doesn't want you to pay, well, sis, then that's another story. Like, if you insist on paying and he doesn't let you pay, then fine. Let him shell out his money. Do what he does because, obviously, he, he has cash to just bun. So, let him do that. Number six is if... Your boyfriend loves to compare you to his ex. Now, that shouldn't even be a topic because it's like you can't compete where you can't compare. So, or you can't compare where you can't compete. One of the two. I just don't feel like you should be comparing me. Like, if you want to compare, then go be with her. Like, it's kind of like... I feel like that's so disrespectful. Like, yeah, that's your past okay but i'm your present and i will be your future that's how you have to think so you can't be thinking about your past and bring this into a relationship because it's not going to work like no no if you're no like you can't be in a relationship with me and still in your brain you're in the past with your other girlfriend like 
why are you comparing me to your ex? It's not a comp it's not it's not a competition. It's not a competition. Girls, you have to think about it. if it's it's not a competition because you already won. Okay. A lot of this does seem like common sense, but like sometimes you don't actually see it for what it is, especially when you're like you think you're in love or like you are so starstruck like that you don't see the triflingness of some of these guys like you don't see it you don't see it so i'm here to bring you i'm here to pump the tea on the tea because i just see it so much i'm just like oh my god sis like come on now come on come on come on come on come on come on like it's just it's a mess so number seven is if your boyfriend thinks he should always be top priority okay so if you're my age you're 18 19 20 I, or even if you're younger, 17, 16, you have a lot to do. You either, you obviously go to school. You obviously maybe probably have a part-time job. You have a family. You have all these things to do. And I'm not saying that your boyfriend should not be important because he should be. But he should be like number three, number four on the list. Like I, some of these guys want to think they're top priority. Like, no, your education needs to be first. Your job needs to be second your family could even top the list if you have a religion if you're religious that should be number one as well like like don't put these guys especially if you're 16 17 18 like do not put them first do not put them first because they will disappoint you most of the time and if say for the rarity that you do last and you get married and you live happily ever after that's great that's fine like that's fine to go into relationship thinking that you're going to get married but i just don't think it's the most important thing in your life right now and i honestly truly believe that if your boyfriend really loves you he should make sure that your education comes first in your life your family comes second or whatever order it is for you that it should just it should just be important okay and i don't think your boyfriend should put him as top priority because it's like it's no 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 like it's and with that as well if your boyfriend comes between you and your friends like your friends will be there with you with whether you're together with your boyfriend whether you're with your boyfriend or not so i just feel like if he wants to put you in the middle it's just like Like, no, there's 24 hours in the day. Like, your boyfriend cannot make you just choose between your friends and him. Like, that's just, that's very, very, very rude. That's just rude. Like, that's, I don't believe. I don't believe that the boyfriend should think he's top priority. If he, if he thinks he should be top priority, then he should just be in a relationship with himself because you're not top priority. You're not. And I feel like, right now in this day and age like i said before we have a lot of power okay i don't believe that we should dumb ourselves down we should put these men at top priority for anything for nothing nothing drink some milk because it's not over here you're not gonna you're not gonna do anything over here thank you very much thank you thank you So those were all my tips on things that your man shouldn't do. And if he does do, then you need to check him. Okay, so let's just check him, send him this video, and I'll tell him for you. I'll tell him for you, okay? So with that, I'll see you in the next video.